Bramble. Oh, I'm not sure, Mr. Bramble. Do you think it's working? Uh, As we've said before, it's always going to start with us saying, is it going to work? Is it going to work, Mrs. Bramble? I don't know. Is it going? I think it is. Oh, that's good. I think we're live. Gosh, sorry, everybody. Sorry about that. Seem to be, uh, seem to be battling against the computer. It was us two. Wasn't it, Mrs. Bramble? Mm. Oh, dear. What are we like, eh? <sighs> God, what are we like? Hello, everybody. Hello, my lovelies. You all all right? It's Mr. and Mrs. Bramble here, here for another bedtime story. Mm. God, what a week we've had. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, everything seems a little bit, a little bit bigger to me, Mrs. Bramble. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's Sofa's, what I thought. Sofa's massive. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? My arms seem really tiny. Look, look at, hold on a minute. Look, where did you get that necklace from? Oh, it was a present. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, thank you. Oi, what are you two doing here? Go. Hello, my lovelies. You're right. Hello. It's actually Mr. and Mrs. Bramble here. Yeah. These two have been playing us up. Thank you to Tash, Reedy, and Aaron and Lily for sending mm. them in. They're really lovely, but gosh, they are menaces. Yes. You two trying to step in for us? No. Right. Not having that. Come on. Right. Come Off on, you, you two. I'll tell you what. Why oh. don't we? Oh, okay. Yeah. Pop them to the yeah. side. Let me pop for this one, Mrs. Bramble. <laughs> How are we all? Sorry about that, guys. There was a little bit of a delay and we seem to be, well, these two seem to be battling against the computer for us. Yeah. Anyway, we hope that you're all doing well and that you've had a good week. Mr. and Mrs. Bramble here yes. for another bedtime story, our seventh one. Yeah, I can't believe it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Now, because you lot seem to really really enjoy one of our stories from our big book of adventures mm. that Mr. And, uh, Mr and Mrs Bramble have been on we thought we would tell you another one yeah if that's all right hello Reenie good to see you Reenie very very kindly mm. knitted these for us yeah Mr and Mrs Bramble, Mrs. Bramble down. Our there little, we go. there there we are so thank you so much they've only played up a little bit yeah now Mrs. Bramble, while I get our big book of adventures, yeah. did you want to show the boys and girls what the treat is tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. Super stuff. Right. right. I'll go and get okay. the, just the ingredients that I need. If you go and get yep. that, uh, the big book of adventures. Big book of adventures. Right. Oh, I've got quite a spread here this evening. I'm just going to reach down and grab a bigger bowl for us. So. This evening, I am going to be making some muesli, some homemade muesli. So I've um, I've I've put some bits in bowls, and I'll tell you about what each of the bowls are, and then I'm going to mix it up into this larger bowl. And then what I'm not going to do on camera because I'll probably spill it everywhere is um, we've got a big jar, and we're going to pop the muesli into the big jar, ready for um, Mr. Bramble and I to use um, tomorrow morning. Did you want a big spoon, Mrs. Bramble? Oh no, I've got a big spoon, thank you oh, very much. I've got that. my wooden spoon here to mix it with. So they're all sorted, thank you. I'm just looking for the book, hold on. Okay, <laughs> so um, I just here, I don't know, I'm gonna, I don't want to tip them out, but that is some crushed up Weetabix that I've put in there. And I've put seven crushed up Weetabix in there. I've just picked this because this is the kind of um, proportions that Mr. Bramble and I like, but um, you can do however much or as little you want to do. Oh, I think I found it, Mr. Oh, Bramble. excellent. Gosh, it's so heavy. Yeah, well, oh. there's plenty of adventures in there. Oh, I'm Excuse very me. sorry. Excuse me, Mr. Bramble. Oh, there we We're go. getting a little bit cramped on here, aren't we? We are. So the next thing that I've got is some oats. Now, I think I put in around 200 grams of oats into oh, there. Super. So I'm just going to pour those in. So Would you mind exciting. holding on to that for Yeah, me? of course. Thank you very much. Then the next thing that I've got, so another kind of dry thing, I've got some bran flakes for us. Now, I think I've got about oh, 100 lovely. grams of bran flakes in there. So that's, that's some stuff. nice different textures there. So if we give that a bit of a stir. Yeah, through. brilliant stuff. So that's our kind of like our main base sorted. Yeah. So at this point, we can then add whatever we want to kind of bring out some. Oh, so I get <laughs> flicking the oats oh, everywhere. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Oh, I get, dear. do make a mess when I'm cooking. Right. 
Mr. Bramble, go and get the Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing that we've got is I've got some flax seed in here. I've got some linseed. Mm. I've got some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds. Oh, lovely. So I think I put about 100 grams in there of that lot as well. Some stuff. Do you want me to give that a mix? Yeah, that would be lovely. Thank you very much. Then next, I've got a kind of nut mix. So this is literally stuff that we had around the house. Yeah. So we had the end of like some nut mix. So we've got some Brazil nuts, some peanuts, some flaked almonds, uh, some cashew nuts. I'm trying to see what else I can see in here. Some other, some larger full almonds and um, some hazelnuts. Mr. Oh, and, and some walnuts Mr. in there Mr. Squirrel well. had been doing some foraging for us, haven't he? Yes. Which was very so nice. So we've got a real selection in there. So yeah. that's that in there for us. And also a little bit of an update from the wild wood. All of the animals are doing okay. They're mm. really enjoying the sunshine. As oh, we yes, said, Mr. Squirrel dropped off some nuts for us mm. to go in here because he knew that we wanted to make some homemade music, yeah. which was very kind of him. So thank you, Mr. Squirrel. Yeah, thank you very Mrs. much. Hedgehog's doing well and yes. all the other animals mm -hmm. are enjoying all the sunshine. So they're outside playing in their gardens. Yeah. So then our final ingredient, and I think this is my favourite bit. I think it is. So I have chopped up some um, some apricots, and I've also got some raisins in there as well. Oh, you can lovely. put in sultanas, you can put in uh, dried figs. You can. Um, yeah. Yes. So, so that's real very variety. tasty. So, so we pop that in pop there. Pop that in there. There we go. Now. You give that a bit of a stir. Why and then. Do you want to tell all the boys and girls what you can do with music? Oh, wow. So you've got quite a few options. Yeah. Um, so uh, Miss Bramble and I, we've got some yoghurt, haven't we, to go with this we tomorrow morning? We do, which is going to be very but, nice. Yeah. In Are fact, you... I, think, I don't think we can wait until tomorrow morning. I think we might have to go and make some right before bed. Yeah. So we could, you could also use milk. So you could either use like dairy milk or you can use um, some milk alternatives like oat milk or something like yeah. that. Uh, what else could you do? Ooh, you could you put could nice have. toppings on. You could. Mm. So you could have banana mm -hmm. or... Fresh some, berries. Oh, some fresh mm. berries. Like strawberries or something. Yeah, so there's loads. Oh, hello, Cassie. Good to Hi see there. you. Um, yeah, there's loads, isn't yeah. there? Do you know, you could even have it with ice cream. I think that'd be quite nice as well. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit cheeky, but... Yeah. Anyway, so right. Thank you so much, Mrs. Bramble. If you just pop that on there, I will take that back through the kitchen, ready to be yeah. added to our large jar. Ooh, shall go. I tell you this? Shall I very quickly remind you what I said earlier about the story that we should tell today? Do you remember that time with the moving town? Yeah. Yeah. So. This story is from our big book of adventures. We just want to tell you a quick bedtime story before we head off ourselves. So, this one is about Mr. and Mrs. Bramble and the moving town. Mm. You're right then, you've got it balanced. It's always so big, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell this story again. Mrs. Bramble is going to give me a hand. Yeah. As we said, this is the story of Mr. and Mrs. Bramble in the moving town. And where was it, Mrs. Bramble, that we, we got a letter from it quite was, some time ago? It was uh, St. Colin Major. St. Colin Major, that's it. Because mm. we are in Cornwall and that is where the wild wood is based. So, our friends in St. Colin Major, who we hadn't seen in quite a while, sent us a letter. Mm -hmm. And it was quite an odd letter, really, wasn't it, unfortunately? Um, they said that they'd been having a spot of trouble mm -hmm. and they needed our help, knowing that we like to, like to fix things and help mm -hmm. people. So they thought they would drop us a message. And we have lots of friends in loads of different places from all of our adventures. So we hadn't seen them for quite a while. We thought, yep, yeah, no problem. They're friends in need. We'll go and give them a hand. Yep. Yeah. So we packed up our things, didn't we? We got our suitcase mm -hmm. and packed up all of our things mm -hmm. that we needed. And we shot off St. Colin Major. That's in Cornwall. So, we arrived, and there were a couple of things that were slightly out of sorts. Isn't that mm. right, Mrs. Bramble? Mm. The um, the shop. It wasn't where we remembered it was. That's correct. Yeah, we mm. couldn't remember. We couldn't remember for sure. So we weren't yeah. we weren't sure whether we were just forgetting mm. where the shop was, or that something else was going on. Yeah. And we thought, no, this is very strange. Mm. And then there was the pub, mm. and the pub 
I thought, I'm sure the pub was over there. Yeah. But yeah. we hadn't been for a while. But we hadn't been so... for a while, so maybe we just forgot it. Yeah. Anyway, we met up with our friends and they explained some very weird things that had been happening mm -hmm. over the last couple of months. And they said that they needed our help catching a monster. Now, of course, we got a little bit scared at that point. We thought, mm, they didn't mention anything about this in their letter. And I haven't brought any any of any of my equipment because I didn't realise what we were going to do. No. I mean, really, we should have written them back and said, what's your problem? <laughs> what's your problem? We, but, we've learned from that one. Hey, we do now. Mm. <laughs> so, they explained that some very weird things have been happening, especially at night time which is why I'm assuming they thought it was a monster. Mm. And what had been happening is that people had been going to sleep in one place and then waking up in another. So, for example, Mrs. Dell, hello, fell asleep in her house on High Cross in St. Colin Major. And she went to sleep and as the sun set, she nodded off had a, I think she drank hot milk or something like that. She told mm. us, didn't she? Yeah. She had a hot milk, she drifted off to sleep. And without a stir, there was no, there was no way that she woke up. She had a lovely sleep, in fact. Mm. I think it was the best that she'd had in weeks. She woke up in Union Hill. And she thought, well, hold on a minute. I live on High Cross. This isn't, this isn't High Cross. Where are my neighbours? She ended up waking up and, and had new neighbours. It was very strange mm. for her. And more and more people over the last few months of when we visited had reported cases of them going to sleep in their house in one place. And they'd wake up and their house had magically moved to a different place. Yeah. Very strange. Very strange indeed, we thought. So, what did we ask? Well, that was it. We asked about the shop because, of course, this must answer our question. Yeah. The shop and the pub. We said, D are they places that have moved? Is it not just houses? And they said, yes, yes. So the shop is now where the laundrette used to be. And the laundrette is where the shop used to be. So unfortunately, people keep going to the laundrette to buy their milk and taking their laundry to the shop and coming out with milk. It's all very confusing. So they want our help to try and so they wanted our help to try and sort it out. Mm -hmm. And we said, well, yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, we'll help. Uh, so for starters, we don't think it's a monster. Monsters aren't really real. Animals of all shapes and sizes and people are all good. Monster kind of makes it sound like something's bad. Mm. And that's not right, because you should always give something a chance. Yeah, give them the benefit of the doubt. Of course, exactly, Mrs. Bramble. Mm -hmm. So, we decided that, okay, we're going to help you out. We're going to see what we can do, but we're not going to capture it. No. Because that's not fair. And we're going to give it a chance to tell its side of the story. Mm -hmm. So, there were three things that we figured out, wasn't there, Mrs. Bramble? that yeah. it had to be yeah it had to be big yes to move the houses to move the houses mm -hmm. it had to be strong also to move the houses yeah. but it also had to be smart mm. why why did we figure that one out well because the houses when they moved they were moved intact like you said mrs yeah. dell she didn't wake up no, exactly. so they must be very clever to be able to lift a whole house without shaking it too much and then place it down ever so gently. Exactly. So they must be really, really careful, mm. very smart, to be able to just move them. So delicate. Mm. So we got our things together. Mm -hmm. What little things we brought with us, yeah. of course. Um, and we set off for the highest point near St. Colin Major. And that was Castle and Dannis. It's the highest peak in that area, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And we thought, right. We're going to stay out all night and we're going to take take our food and get our tent. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we brought it with us. Yeah. And take our picnic chairs and tables and our mm -hmm. tea mm -hmm. and sit up, Castle and Danis, and wait and see what we can see. Mm. 
Because this thing must be big. Yeah. It must be big. It must be huge. Mm. And we sat there, didn't we? Yeah. And we sat there. And we sat there. And we sat there. Luckily, we brought loads of games. So we were, we were, we were happy. Yeah. But just as we were nodding off. We were as well. <sighs> the tea had run out. The tea had run out. And we were all warm from our tea, mm. from our dinner. Mm -hmm. we were, ooh, a little bit sleepy now. Mm. God, the hugest gust of wind. Yeah. It, well, it really woke us up, didn't it? It did. It was it was cold. It was. It was cold. It was as though someone had got a big fan and just gone whoosh. And it came from the north, didn't it? Mm, yes. So, of course, we turned around. We had a look. And way, way, way off in the distance. In fact, I'm trying to remember now in our book, Ritty, we wrote it down, didn't we? That was it. It was Huston Wood. Mm way off in the distance miles away you see this big bunch of trees all waving mm. with this gust of wind and gradually just at first out of sight mm. and then a little bit well it looked it looked like a hill yeah it was coming out of the middle of the forest didn't it yeah and gradually the hill turned into a bigger hill mm. and a bigger hill mm. and a bigger hill and nearly a mountain. Yeah. Very tall, very, 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 steep very tall, mountain. very steep mountain. Mm. But then the mountain grew arms. Yeah. And legs. And legs. And we just stood there and scratched our head. And then it clicked. Mm. What is big and strong and smart? A giant. Of course it was a giant. No matter all of the books that we looked through, yeah. we didn't once think about the giants of Cornwall. How silly. Yeah. So silly. So silly. So now we're faced with a giant. Mm. Now, giants are generally kind creatures. Mm -hmm. They are good natured. They usually have, all have jobs like normal people. Mm -hmm. Just that they are so, 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 so much bigger than us, aren't they? Yes. And they're quite slow and mm. cumbersome, but they are very, very careful. Yes. Because you've got to be. Imagine being at the size of, of 10 skyscrapers. Imagine you just taking your foot and putting it down without having to crush anything. Yeah. You have to be very careful. You'd have to be very, very careful. It's like walking across a room full of Lego. It is. It is. And you want to avoid it. Mm. So the thing about giants is that although they are careful, they are hard to get the attention of, especially considering we are so small. Mm. So luckily I packed my massive, massive torch. Mm. So we started waving it out, trying to get his attention, trying to call him over to the, to the hill mm. and, and speak to us. And we did. But there was something about him, wasn't there? Yeah. Almost sad. Yeah. But sad like... Concerned. Yeah, but also sad like you can't remember where you've put your crayons. Mm. Or sad like... You've misplaced your favourite toy. Yeah. Or sad like you've really lost something mm. and so he came down to our level so imagine mm. it was a bit like this mrs bramble yeah. is the giant this was us and he explained that his name was lowen now lowen is a cornish word for happy or jolly or um cheerful yeah and we said oh well hello and we introduced ourselves and we said you don't seem very happy though and he said no and this is when we got to the crux of it you see lowen is one of the oldest giants in cornwall and as we mentioned earlier giants all have jobs and his 
much like Sally, you'll remember from our other story, he's kind of a postman. Yeah, he's a messenger. He's a messenger. Hmm. And he delivers really important messages from different places, from all the kings and queens of the different areas, you know, of the wildwood, and then of of, of the sky mm. and the sands and mm. the sea, of course, mm. Neptune. You yeah. heard about him in our last story. And he darts about, Lowen, mm. and he delivers all these important messages. And he explained that, unfortunately, for quite some months, mm. he'd been looking for a very, very important letter that he had, unfortunately, lost. Mm. So... We said, look, Lowen, you know, it, it's OK. It's all right. We all make mistakes. That's not a problem. Who was the letter from? And he explained that it was from Summer. So as you'll remember from one of our other stories, so that is Mother Nature's sister, as with all the other seasons, except for our brother, Great Uncle Winter, of course. Yeah. It was from Summer. And who was it to again? I'm now trying to remember. Um, wasn't it? Oh, it was the King of the Giants. Yeah. It was King Bolster. Yes. And he's the biggest giant of all in mm. Cornwall. So it was a letter from Summer to Bolster. Mm. The problem was is that Lowen couldn't even remember what the letter said. Mm. He'd got himself in such a tiff, hadn't he? Mm. Such a worry that he'd lost this letter and that people were going to be angry at him for not delivering it. Mm. And he felt really, really sad. So... He'd looked all over Cornwall for this letter, and the last place that he decided to check was St. Colin Major. Now, I'm sure you've probably figured this out, boys and girls. But unfortunately, what he'd been doing is lifting these buildings up overnight and plonking them down, looking underneath the house. But because he'd got in such a tiff and such a worry, he couldn't even remember where the houses went in yeah. the first place. So he picked them up very carefully, of course. He didn't want to wake them. He wasn't trying to do this to be nasty or anything like that. He was really worried. So he's picking these houses up and putting them elsewhere, looking around, couldn't find the letter, and then thought, where did I put that house? Like, oh dear. So what he'd been doing is hiding out in the forest and each night coming in and changing around the town by accident. Mm. But of course he didn't think about all the things that he was messing up mm. and he got himself in such a tiff didn't mm. he? yeah such a worry so what did we tell him we explained to him it, that it was okay that he'd made a mistake yeah. and that he should he should be able to apologize and go back to summer and say i'm really sorry i i've lost your letter yeah can can you tell me the message again so that i can take it to yeah. bolster exactly and you know what after talking to us for a little while and saying that I've made a mistake and I'm really, really sorry. And we explained to him that it was okay. And it's not a problem. And the people of St. Colin Major are absolutely fine. As soon as we go back and tell them, it's going to be okay. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And he decided to go back to Summer and say sorry and say that he will do his best next time. But could he please, please, please know what the letter was about? so that he could go and tell King Bolster mm. the message. And the message was, well, the letter was an invitation to, what was it? Oh, I'm trying to remember now. Wasn't it the Midsummer Party? It was, it was the Midsummer Party. Yeah. In the wild wood of all places. We actually went to that party. Yeah. We did wonder where the giants were. And yeah. I, I recall Summer mentioning mm. That there was somebody missed, there were some people missing. Mm. And they must not have got the invitation. Mm. And of course, it was because Lowen was so caught up with having lost the message that they never made it. Mm. But this was quite some years ago. So don't worry, boys and girls, because this story, of course, has a happy ending. Yeah. After Lowen received the news from Summer about the lost message, he, of course, ran straight to King Bol Bol uh, Bolster, didn't he? Mm. And he made sure that the message was, was received well, and he apologised for the delay in his messaging, and he'll do better next time. He'll do his best not to lose any more post. And, of course, King Bolster forgave him, 
He's a kind giant. Ki yeah. Giants are kind, yeah. as are most creatures. And so every year after, the giants attended nigh on all the parties yeah. in the Wildwood organised by the seasons and Mother Nature. And of course, they were so, so happy to celebrate together. And we hope that you've really enjoyed our story tonight. And remember that if you do something wrong, it's OK. It's all right. We all make mistakes. Yeah. And it's not a problem. So long as you admit to you admit that you've done something wrong yeah. and you ask for help on how to fix it. Yeah. And you do your best next time. And it's all all right. And we hope that you have a really, really good night's sleep. And we'll see you again next week for another bedtime story. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Bramble live at seven o'clock here. We hope that you have a really great week. Good night, everybody. We'll see you soon. Night-night. Night-night now. Night. Bye.